to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today we're talking about five myths of being a bridal stylist. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and drop me a comment. Anything that you wanna see or hear about, I am here for you. Myth number one. People think that we play dress up all day, especially me because of the TikTok and the Instagram, and they think that bridal stylists just get to play dress up all day, or I've even had stylists who want a job at Lavella or want to work in a bridal store, they think that their job is to play dress up all day with their brides, and that's not so the case. Do we try dresses on? Yes, of course we do. It's really important for us as bridal stylists to know how dresses fit and feel and the construction. If something seems to be itchy or uncomfortable, we can let the designer know so that they can change that in production. Or also we know like if we've put that dress on and a bride says, oh, it's really itching me here, the strap's bugging me here, we as stylists can tell them, we totally know what you're talking about, what we do for that, here's the solution. We'll put a fabric, we'll block that, create it as a barrier from your skin to the strap. Also why you need an expert to help you find the dress so that they know all these things about it. So we really don't have time to play dress up all day. And if you are a future bridal stylist wanting to work at a bridal store, I promise you, you are not playing dress up all day. Our jobs are intense and we have really long days in the best way possible, but it is not a play dress up all day type of job at all. Total myth. Myth number two, our job is always fun and happy. For the most part, yes, our job is fun and happy, but what a lot of people don't consider is that not things are always good all the time around weddings. And what do I mean by that? Oftentimes we have brides who are dreading the shopping experience because they've lost their mom. They don't have their mom to share this moment with or perhaps a grandmother or a loved one of some kind. So weddings can be very bittersweet. It can be very sweet because there's a lot of new excitement happening, but it also makes you miss things that other people get to have during this process that you may not be able to have. So as much as this is a fun and exciting environment, it also can be really sad. And weddings get called off. Like that's just the name of the game. You haven't been in bridal and been, you know, in the event space of weddings until you have seen multiple weddings called off. And Oftentimes it happens for the best reasons. Like it's okay and it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, we all make decisions and then realize, you know, that maybe isn't the best decision for my life and that's okay. Like zero, zero, zero judgment. But this is not always that fun and happy environment that people think that it's meant to be. So it's our jobs to bring in that fun and that light because there is a lot of anxiety for some people around this whole process and many brides may not want to be the center of attention. That's really hard for couples that are introverts, that they don't want to be the center of attention on wedding day. So this is actually something that they sort of dread and they're not really excited about. And as a stylist, when you have, you know, your energy kind of reflects the energy of the person that you're serving. So that being said, if the person that you're serving can't really communicate, isn't excited, is nervous, is stressed about it, is anxious about it, I'm only as good as my client allows me to be and also shares with me so I can best serve their needs. So if you are a, a couple or a bride, tell your wedding vendors how you feel about your wedding and the anxieties around it so that we can help bring some light into this time that's supposed to be fun for you and perhaps may not be. So that's a myth. Our job is not always fun and happy, but the beauty is, is that we can bring in some of that fun and happiness into it to the best of our ability. Myth number three. We are doing pretty things all day long and we're around all the beautiful things all the time. Yes, we do have a beautiful environment that we get to come to and call work every day. We do, we, we can't deny that. However, in order for our environment to be pretty, a lot of the times we're spent on our, literally our hands and knees doing things, work sweeping our floors, making sure our dresses are hung beautifully. So if you're ever browsing in a bridal store and you pull out a dress and like, shuffle hangers around, you'll probably see someone come behind you and fix it so that it looks really pretty for everybody around aesthetically. So we are constantly cleaning toilets. We have to check our bathrooms, make sure our bathrooms look clean, our sinks look clean. Like we do a lot of, like we've had clogged toilets before. That's a thing and that's our job too. Like we work the store. So there's a clogged toilet, you know, you kind of got to do what you got to do for the best overall experience. So there is, it doesn't discriminate. There's nothing that we don't do. Legitimately, it doesn't, like there's there's a lot of stuff that we've had to do before, like, you know, 
a dog threw up in the store or a dog pooped in the store or a baby spilled stuff. There's a reason why we ask for animals and, you know, babies to be kept at home. It's all white. Coffee comes in. We've had people spill coffee. Like, I know that that's like kind of not like in terms of pretty stuff, but it's things that happen. So we are responsible for everything. So if you see people in bridal stores kind of be OCD, that's why. Because we spent a lot of time and energy to make the store and the space look as beautiful as it does. It doesn't naturally look beautiful. We have to clean and sweep our floors constantly. So yeah, it's not really pretty things all day. In between brides, we're sweeping, we're mopping, making sure toilets are clean, you know, doing all the things. All the not so pretty things to make everything pretty. Myth number four, that we have the least stressful job. Yeah, so not true, so not true. It's actually really pretty stressful. Okay, like not, not like a doctor or a nurse stressful, like we're not first responders in that way or police officer or fire, like there, there are jobs that are like, you know, there's, but that's also why people think that we don't have a stressful job because of that. However, you have to be so detail oriented to do what we do on a daily basis because there are a lot of logistics, a lot. So making sure everything aligns and when you're helping a lot of brides, things can easily get lost in the shuffle. So there's a lot of strategy and strategic thinking that goes into it. It's not like, oh, you're gonna buy this, you're gonna take this. No, there's colors, there's style numbers, there's communication with vendors, there's there's so much that goes into it. A bride emails, you gotta, like there's, there's a lot of little steps that add up and it's really important that we get it all right. So even though we are not saving lives on a daily basis, we have one of the most magical jobs in the sense that we get to make this moment in someone's life, even if it's not something they're looking forward to, we get to be a bit of that happiness and bring joy and bring beauty and confidence to women on their most important day of their life. So it's a pretty stressful job. And if you think about it, luckily we don't really have like what you see on TV in terms of bridezillas, but if you really think about it, people are stressed during their weddings and we see a lot of different sides of people. So it's it's also managing all of our clients' emotions. So in a way, we're also therapists. There's just a lot that goes into it and it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Like it is, but that's why you also have to really love what you do for this. Like if you if you do not love what you do, this job is not it will eat you up like i always tell people if you don't love this industry the bridal industry the wedding industry will eat you up and spit you out because there is so much emotion and heightened energies and emotion that goes into all of this so you're really we're in the people business like you have to like people and have to love what you do myth number five the job is easy and it's really not a job at all i have people literally say the most offensive things to me about how all i do is just play dress up all day kind of like what we already talked about but that it's just this isn't work like it's not it's not real work and here's the deal it is we have a really important job at hand like i said not like a first responder or anything like that, but we have such an important job and there's so many people involved in making this work flawlessly and beautifully from the person who is answering email, answering the telephone, your alterations department, anybody who opens the door, serves you water, whatever. There's so many components that go into this. If you think of hotels and hospitality, it's, it's very similar. So. We do not play dress up all day. We work really hard to bring in inventory and to have the environment, the expertise, the knowledge, and the overall feel for a bride to have the experience that she has. So, and like we said, in pre I mentioned in previous videos, it's not just about buying the dress. It's the whole process in which that you go through. And there takes a lot of people, a lot of effort, lots of weekly meetings that we have as a team for everybody to be on the same page. There's a lot of heart and love and hard work and dedication that goes into what we do on a daily basis. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks so much, have a great day everyone.